has some things to say. Um, I am profoundly appreciative to the Television Academy for bestowing this honor upon me. Particular thanks goes to Wendy Ellsworth, head of the Engineering Committee. To Dr. John Leverance, to Jeff Katz, to David Jensen, and all the other esteemed Engineering Committee members. I started working in production 20 years ago on a little known movie called Sliver that was supposed to be good, uh, that Bob Evans and Hawk Koch produced. And I wanted so much to learn about the process of filmmaking that as a production assistant, I snuck into a screening room on the Paramount lot with them and the department heads every day at lunch to watch dailies. It was an amazing and collaborative experience. I eventually worked in television production and film dailies, gave away to videotape and DVD. And that romanticized image of sitting in a screening room to see what had been shot the day before was gone. Now we all sat around in our own offices and homes waiting for a messenger to drop off a DVD. The collaborative environment fell victim to progress. A few years later, I was running a digital media encoding company called Sample Digital, and we were pretty good at digitizing media for internet video services like MovieLink and Cinema Now. And it was the ability to make use of my experience in production mixed with the desire to innovate along with access to all of these new internet era tools that led to the development of digital dailies. And in the process, bring back some of the collaboration that had fallen by the wayside. I left Sample Digital, now known as DAX, a few years back for other endeavors, but I would like to thank Patrick McDonald King and the rest of the team there for protecting my legacy while building their own. I'd also like to thank some other friends whose efforts and contributions were of great value, including my co-founder, Mike McCoy, partners Chip Robertson and Marlon Prager, developer extraordinaire Kapendra Potney, trench mate Keith Wheeler, Curtis Beck and Eddie Rayfeld of Microsoft, the fantastic IP attorney Kirk Quist, without whose skill I likely would not be here tonight, and Leon Silverman, who started by providing a healthy dose of curiosity mixed with suspicion regarding my efforts, which gave way to invaluable guidance and ultimately friendship. The path to the stage would have been much more difficult had I not been fortunate enough to have Leon in my orbit. I'd also like to congratulate Mark Madnick and the fantastic team at Final Draft right now. Very proud of where I came from, and I'm very proud to be part of that fantastic team going forward. And I think it was a well-deserved award. Most importantly, I want to thank my wife, Anne. She can tell you what it looks like to sit next to someone on a ski lift providing tech support to a post supervisor in Romania. <laughs> or to watch someone pace back and forth on a deck in Hawaii in the middle of the night as they're being berated by a filmmaker who can't figure out how to get the Windows Media plug in to load on his MacBook. <laughs> There's a million of them. <laughs> but she knew I was committed to making it work, and she supported me without fail, and I love you to know it. And lastly, shout out to my son Cooper, who will find some way to accidentally break a wing off of this beautiful statue. <laughs> Thank you all.